السلام عليكم يا شباب ويا بنات كيف حالكم ان شاء الله طيبين اكمل اليوم لعبة ديث ستراندنج دخلنا على الحلقة السابعة وشكلها مواجهة مع زعيم اللي هو هذا اللي تشوفه صورته تواجهنا معاه في الحلقة الرابعة وكان يعني مكان القتال موقع من مواقع الحرب العالمية الاولى هذه المرة موقع القتال او مكان القتال موقع من مواقع الحرب العالمية الثانية ما ادري وش قصده يعني كوجيما من هالحركة فان شاء الله بس تكون معركة اسهل من اللي راحت لان اللي راح طولت فيها صراحة اذا كانت بنفس الطريقة يعني نفس الشيء ان شاء الله ان نخلصها بشكل اسرع بس اذا كانت مختلفة ما ادري يعني كنا نحتاج طيب ايش مطلوب الهرب نصحه نفس الشيء يعني نفس الحلقة الرابعة بس يمكن اصعب يعني بس اصعب يمكن هالمرة اصعب كاس الدم مهم لا اشوف ضربة واحدة روحت نصف الدم او لحظة خلني اعبي دم ما ادري عاد استخدمها او لا شوف الخريطة هنا ازاي يمشي طيب بفوض هذه المكان اللي يبغون يجي او هنا قصدهم هنا انا اتوقع هذا النهر اللي خلى اللاعبين يعتقدوا انه هو سورو لان سورو في لعبة مثل جير الجزء الثالث واجهنا اياه في زي النهر مكان زي النهر تغير الهدف توجه الى مدخل الصار الانضمام الى جبنه قل بلا احنا ممكن تكون وضع الجو اخذ مشروب احتياط يعني بس كيف وضع الضوح فتوقع في خريجة من ولا أبهنور بس ما ما فهمت من جهة حب تبول وش تبول لا لا ليش 
ما يأخذها ايوه هذه هي يا اخي سويتها سويتها تاخذ الحد شوف المشكلة ابتعد عنه خلنا نشوف الكنترول النظام ما في يعني فلاش لايت شيء ما ادري هذا اي تتبوس على كان 
also have to heal up. Okay. And that's in the country. Now we can so if I saw that. It's loud and loud and clean. But I don't I don't even get off here. I see a party. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she's out of a shoe. Hey, I'll tell you. I don't know. I don't know. The little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, well then. Check it out. Maybe this is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. So, do you still share memories? I see. No, I don't give you that shit. تعالج الولد ما قام بيه. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down as you get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant, but we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? It's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Okay. Lou, huh? That's a good name. Oh. I'm going to call this name Sam. He is the one who chose this name. Okay, what's the goal of this now? I'll go forward. دوما شكل هنا يا صاحبي لازم يبدل معركة بزقارة Let's go. 
ما عندي أسلحة لحد ما أشوف عندي شيء بسك يا سلام وش هذا حبل بندقية هجومية أخيرا لسه لسه مو عارف اجهز كيس الان و... يا اكيد هذا أنا أخذ لك أخذ ضرورية جدا تمشي على دمي على دمي ما في كيف اخذ كذا ما خلي ابي راح
Move, 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 move. What other one? Find a chaos and then shoot them below there. Good idea. Move, 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 Open Up. 
Ah, j'ai un seul à faire. Non, non, درع الواخي هم كيف البسها الدرع الواخي
Aber ich hab's für die Schwarz. اخيرا يا سعد لازم تصبر عليه والله كان بيني وبين الموت شعره بس كنت اهرب واعبده زين والله ما انقتلنا الا مره خصوصا يعني قبل لا اهرب الهربه الاخيره يعني وصل الدم في الفراغ <تصفيق> I should, I should never have put you in that prison. Anyway. لا شكل هذه المرة خلاص. ما شاء الله يقدر يلعن. شخد منه شكل الشال البطاري حق تم الهرب بنجاح شوف كم يعطونا سي والله زين طولت بس انه يعني اللي يميز دي المواجهة اني ما مت المواجهة اللي راحت مت ولا اخ خمسين مرة بس هالمرة طولت بس ما مت يعني هو اتوقع اربع مرات يبغى لك انك تطيحة بس والله قبل المرة الأخيرة لأن انحصرت ما بين جنوده وجان الرصاص من كل صوب بس زين والله نجينا كان والله مشكلة انك تطيحها ثلاث مرات وتموت في الرابع
طيب راجع نفس الغرفة ماذا رجع معاه ديدمان لا هو استانس يوم شاف ان البيبي معاه ما راح منه او انك يحلم مصيبة اذا بدله بالدمية الشيطانية هذي يمكن يحلم اتوقع لو سماه خلا لا لا هذا خير وعافية لا لا نجا ولا اثنين No response. <laughs> well, look at that. That child's taking a shine to me. <sighs> you two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. <laughs> Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd have made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. Avoid her. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map, leaving nothing but a big crater and him, because he was a repatriate. Okay, how do you People so? wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. Okay. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. Take a seat. I told you before about my body, 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. Can I shout kid as my dad? A soulless meat puppet. No car. A dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother, no afterlife, no beach. You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone, anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. Wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on, even I was welcome. Oh, that, you were holding it. 
Clifford Unger, as you can see. Can I, I looked him up in our database. Clever Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. Okay. That's him. Anger Clifford. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. Uh, you must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hard Man issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. Sam, do you copy? As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our car, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, okay. a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't okay. explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiron network, who knows what we might discover. EX grenade number zero. I understood that there is a in حاجة اسمها ها اتش اي اللي هي جسمه وحاجة اسمها كي اي اللي هي وانك ال... كل واحد الى برزخ بحسب يعني افكاره ومعتقداته يعني هذه ساحة المعركة ممكن تكون برزخ يعني مو لازم يكون بشكل البحر او آه والشيء بعد المهم اللي قالوا ان هذا كليفورد طبعا الساحه اللي رحناها ما كان في اوروبا الشرقيه ايام الحرب العالميه الثانيه بس يقولوا آه ان ذا كليفورد انجر ما شارك فيها فغريب انه يكون متواجد فيها رجع اشوف نفس الشخص. من هذا الشخص شكله سام؟ جون جون شكله رئيسه هذا. Sam, 
that the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. يعني إذا وصلنا ذا المكان خلاص. انتهينا من رابط الكلمة. وهذا المكان محتجز في أمريكاً. نعمل هارتمان. سام، أود لايك فيو تو برينج مي أفيو ثينجز. فيرست، ذا دوغ تاجز يو توك فروم ذات سولجر. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much oh, to Mama, know the reason Mama, why. Okay, then. I could put higher Mama to the information that could prove to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. قيام بالطلبات توصيل جثة معمل هارتمان استرجاع All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Malingan special. Malingan, Sam. That's a Samu Hamama. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. The Ha is the body, and the Ka is the soul. صنع المعدات خلنا حذاء تأكيد ارتداء اكيد خلنا اصنع دباب اسهل لي اعطونا Thank you for your contribution. I should come in and help out. بس خلنا نحدد معمل هارتمان هذا هو معمل هارتمان
ماشيين صح احنا اتوقع اني اسهل ما يمكن تفوت شد حيلك لا 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 تصير الطريق الصحيح Hello. <laughs>
Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. الطريقة تلاحظ المنشاة فتح الباب حتى الانعاش لوقت متوقع يا ساتر مش هذا جثث متجمدة باقي بس دقيقة حرك <تصفيق> قاعد اطلع اي هذا هو اللي قاعد حصل معلومات من الصورة المص... اللي في الكاميرا المصورة ذيك استغرب من المكان انا اتوقع انهم اموات حتى هذا العالم بس يمكن في بعض البشر قدر يرجع بصورة هالصورة هذه اوه وقت الانعاشة هو والله انا افكر الجثة اللي عندي هذا الوقت له هو عشان دي الصدمة الكهربائية وقوم اوكي الحلقة الثامنة هارتمان رجع عشرين دقيقة شكل هذا وموت وقوم I'm sorry I didn't mean to alarm you but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. Oh, I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. ويقعد ثلاث دقايق في برزخ 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day yes. <تصفيق> 60 opportunities to search the beach 60 مرة يموت في اليوم 60 يوم 60 مرة يبعث this is how I live this is my life so while you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times my beach count is a little higher 218,549 ما شاء الله I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especial. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shaped heart? No, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know. I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. 
It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist, <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. Mama, I hope the mulama is sound. I that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, no, I sure check that out. Found it. Behold. Okay. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? I don't know, but evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. <laughs> oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured. It'll only feel like three minutes to you. 
We'll continue this shortly. Five. Four. مات افكار كوجيما غريبه استنى انا استنى ثلاث دقائق دخلنا تكبير تصوير نسوي شيء أحلو. بس ان اشوف الاغراض واعطيها لايك في شيء نعطيه ذلك اه صورة هنا بس ما يسوي لها شيء لازم بالضبط تركز البنات هارتي يمكن هذه الاشياء اللي اسأل عنها اذا قلت هذي كانها صورة هنا طيب يعني قضينا الوقت ذا اللايكات لا لا فيزيك 218.550 Sorry, uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, pollution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21-minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21-minute window. All from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> But honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. 
My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void out. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Okay, hey! It's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! 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 The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though, even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's straw to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here, and here alone. You see, hiding in the Earth, then, are memories of a major mass extinction. 
clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armony. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the death. I'm going to put it on the mute. I'm going to put it on the mute. Don't worry about him, Sam. Let him go. The aromatic floor absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. والله شكلها يعني هذا يتوقع يعني أصعب منطقة هذه عشان نضمها منطقة تجمع الحدودية طيب Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once oh. all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. <laughs> عالم جيولوجيا توصيل قنبلة عالم حفريات يمدينا A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. Oh, the strata the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, 
Our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Kyrelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. Okay. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. Okay, اوكي شباب راح اوقف هنا واكمل ان شاء الله الحلقه الجايه اتمنى هذه الحلقه عجبتكم اشوفكم على خير وفي امان الله